There's been a rumor that, you know, a very nice rumor that you go outside in the sun or you have heat and it does have an effect on other viruses. President Trump there discussing that after a science and technology advisor said that experiments had shown the coronavirus doesn't fare as well in sunlight or in heat. In the past 24 hours, several top medical experts have come forward just trying to clarify that sunlight is not the same thing as a treatment. Uh, we want to bring in meteorologist Tony Sadiku to help separate more fact from fiction. Yeah, that rumor, sunlight and COVID-19 don't get along, getting new life after a federal government study. It suggests higher temperature, humidity, and sunlight can work to more quickly kill the virus on surfaces and in the air. The White House released this graphic Thursday, which looks at the half-life of the coronavirus, meaning how long it takes for particles of the virus to decay to half of what it was. Looking at the first three lines, Notice when the temperature and humidity goes up, the time it takes for the virus to become inactive on surfaces like stainless steel or door handles goes down dramatically. The virus has an even tougher time surviving in the stronger summer sun, according to the study, cutting the half-life from six hours to just two minutes. In the air, summer UV rays slash the virus's viability from one hour to just 90 seconds. But while the data is hopeful, this doesn't mean exposure to sunlight is a treatment. The World Health Organization on their Mythbusters page said exposing yourself to sun and warm temperatures does not prevent the coronavirus, adding you can get COVID-19 regardless what the weather is. ABC News Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton weighed in this morning. It has been known for a long time that UV light can be used to kill bacteria or viruses in the environment, not in or on the human body. No one knows what's going to happen when the weather warms up. Other researchers who looked into this topic suggest we may not see a significant reduction in transmission just because of the weather if we don't maintain social distancing. Back to you.